Hi, I'm Josh Batwood and I'm going to show you how to make the perfect scrambled eggs. First thing is to get the eggs. You want medium sized eggs, preferably as fresh as possible. And we're just going to crack these into a clean bowl. We're going to do three eggs. So once we've cracked the eggs, we're going to season them lightly with a little bit of salt. Choose a good salt. We use kosher salt here. It has a much more rounded sodium flavor. Fresh cracked black pepper. Don't want to be too shy with the pepper because you want that flavor to come through. Some cream, full fat. And from here, you're just going to lightly beat the eggs. You don't want the yellows and the whites to be completely mixed together, you still want a slight separation between the two. This will improve the end texture of the scrambled eggs. So for the scrambled eggs, the pan shouldn't be too hot. We want it about a low medium heat. That way we don't overcook the eggs so they become rubbery. We want them to be nice and soft. So to start we're going to add butter. And don't be shy again with the butter because it's going to bring out more flavour to the scrambled eggs. Slowly melt this in, making sure that the temperature of the pan doesn't change too quickly. And our eggs with our yolk barely mix into the whites with the cream, we're going to slowly add it to the warm pan. A slow scrambled egg is much better than a fast scrambled egg because we're going to keep the texture of the egg intact so we have a nice, wet, flavorful mix of egg. Slowly bring the outside and push it towards the center. One thing that I advise you don't do is use a whisk and whisk it in the pan. A spatula always works nicer to create these beautiful folds. Now when we're coming up to the halfway point, which is about now, I'm going to add one knob of cold butter to the center and let that slowly melt into the egg. What I prefer to do is to pull it away from the pan just before it's fully cooked and let the resonant heat continue cooking it. 